Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from our channel, Immortal News. In this video, we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away today, June 19th, and in the last few days. Additionally, we have some tributes planned for the second part of the video, so please stay tuned. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 1. Angela Thorne, a lustrous career and enduring legacy in stage and screen. Angela Thorne, the British entertainment industry performer, passed away at her home on June 16th at the age of 84. With a career that spanned several decades, Thorne was best known for her role as Marjorie Frobisher in the BBC comedy series To the Manor Born, which aired from 1979 to 1981. The show enjoyed immense popularity, with Thorne starring alongside Penelope Keith and Peter Bowles. Trained at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama on scholarship, Thorne had a rich career not only in television but also on stage. Her portrayal of Margaret Thatcher in the stage play Anyone for Dennis earned her an Olivier Award nomination in 1981. Besides her comic timing, she showcased versatility with appearances in the crime drama series Midsummer Murders and Foyle's War, and lent her voice to the Queen of England in the 1989 animated film adaptation of the BFG. Her legacy extends to her family as she was the mother of actors Rupert and Lawrence Penry Jones. She was also married to the late actor Peter Penry Jones. Angela Thorne's contribution to the arts both on screen and stage leaves an indelible mark and she will be remembered fondly by colleagues, family and fans. Tributes to Angela Thorne Number 2. Dick Hall, a versatile baseball great Dick Hall, a revered former Baltimore Orioles pitcher and a member of the Orioles Hall of Fame, passed away on June 18th at the age of 92. Hall's illustrious career in Major League Baseball began in 1952 as an outfielder with the Pittsburgh Pirates. His versatility was evident when he evolved into a two-way player by 1955 and later transitioned to a full-time pitcher in 1957. His unusual pitching motion led to the affectionate nickname Turkey. In 1961, Hall was traded to the Baltimore Orioles, where he became an integral part of the team. Over two stints with the Orioles, from 1961 to 1966 and 1969 to 1971, Hall appeared in a total of 342 games, including 22 as a starting pitcher. Over the course of his career, Dick Hall played for four teams, including the Orioles, Kansas City Royals, and Philadelphia Phillies. His career statistics are commendable, with a record of 93 wins and 75 losses, an earned run average of 3.32, and 71 saves in 495 games as a pitcher. Moreover, as an outfielder, he batted .210 with four home runs in 714 career at-bats. Dick Turkey Hall's induction into the Orioles Hall of Fame in 1989 was a recognition of his remarkable contributions to the game of baseball and his beloved team. His legacy as a versatile and dedicated player will long be celebrated in the annals of baseball history. Tributes to Dick Hall Number 3. Graziano Origa, an enduring legend of Italian comics and cultural artistry. Graziano Origa, icon of Italian comics and culture, passed away tragically at the age of 71 on June 18th. His lifeless body was found off the coast of Poeto Beach in Cagliari under unclear circumstances. The incident occurred over the night between Saturday and Sunday, with his identity being confirmed later on. Born in 1952 in Sardinia, Origa was a cornerstone in the Italian comic scene, best known for creating the Fumetti d'Italia magazine and the character Video Max. Origa's artistic journey was a vibrant one. He emerged as a key figure in the Italian artistic scene during the 1960s and 1970s. He also served as the director of the underground magazine Gong and was the driving force behind Studio Origa, 
which he founded along with aspiring comic artists. His collaborations were extensive, and his works were featured in newspapers, weeklies, and monthly magazines both in Italy and abroad. Beyond his professional accomplishments, Origa's impact on the world of comics and culture was profound. The mayor of Dolianova, where Origa resided, remarked, We have lost an artist, a friend. Graziano has brought prestige to our country. His sudden and tragic passing has been described as a significant loss to Italian comics, an industry to which he contributed immeasurably. Tributes to Graziano Origa. Number 4. Luiz Chiavon, a maestro of electronic pop sound in Brazilian music. Luiz Chiavon, the founder and keyboardist of the iconic Brazilian band RPM, passed away at the age of 64 on June 15. Chiavon had been bravely battling an autoimmune disease for four years and was hospitalized in Osasco, Sao Paulo. Sadly, complications following a surgical procedure led to his demise. Louise Chivon was instrumental in crafting the signature sound of RPM with electronic pop arrangements that left an indelible mark on the Brazilian music scene in the 1980s. His contribution extended beyond RPM as he went on to excel in producing soundtracks for television shows and served as a musical director at TV Globo. RPM skyrocketed to fame in Brazil during the 1980s. However, following the band's initial separation in 1987, the indefatigable Chivon formed a new band called Proyeto S, which dabbled in pop rock and released a successful album. In a statement released by the band, it was expressed that Chivon's legacy should be celebrated through the mastery and energy of his music, which will continue to reverberate in the hearts of fans and admirers. The family has chosen to keep the funeral and burial private. Luis Chivon's dedication to crafting captivating sounds and his commitment to evolving Brazilian music will be remembered as a remarkable gift to the music world. Tributes to Luiz Chiavon. Number 5. Bern Schroeder, a master of Bavarian narratives and quiet introspection. Bern Schroeder, the renowned Bavarian writer and television author, passed away at the age of 79 on June 18. Schroeder grew up in Upper Bavaria. As a refugee child with parents from Berlin, he found solace in the Bavarian countryside. His works often portrayed the rustic, simple life and the resilience of the people. He began his career in literature late, penning his first novel, Versunkenes Land, in 1993. He is widely known for co-authoring the bestseller Alte Liebe in 2009 and Rudernde Hunde in 2002 with his former wife Elke Heidenreich. He also worked on a book with the cabaret artist Hans Dieter Husch and assisted Dieter Hildebrandt with his autobiography in the form of a conversation, Ich Musste Immer Lachen, in 2006. As an author and director of radio and television plays, Schroeder's work was critically acclaimed. He was awarded the Adolf Grimm Prize in 1985 and the Deutscher Film Preis, German Film Award, in 1992. His work often drew from his personal experiences, and he found inspiration in his childhood during post-war Bavaria, particularly highlighted in his novel Alf America, which received significant critical acclaim in 2012. Bernd Schroeder's writing is celebrated for its intricate details and the immersive experience of Bavarian culture it provides to readers. Through his novels, he captured the essence of a bygone era and the beauty of rural life, leaving an indelible mark on German literature. Tributes to Bernd Schroeder. Number 6. Colin Granger a harmonious blend of football and music. Colin Granger, known as the Singing Winger, passed away at the age of 89 on June 20, 2022. Born in Havercroft, England in 1933, 
Granger carved an extraordinary path as both a professional footballer and a musician. His football career, which spanned 16 years, commenced at Wrexham in 1950. Granger's football journey was interrupted by national service, but he later made his mark at Sheffield United. At 22, while playing for Sheffield, he scored two goals for England in his debut match against Brazil, contributing to a 4-2 victory. He earned seven caps for England. Besides Sheffield United, he also played for Leeds United, Sunderland, Port Vale, Doncaster Rovers, and Macclesfield Town. Parallel to his football career, Granger had an affection for music and even performed alongside the Beatles. His endearing personality and dual talents in sports and music made him an unforgettable figure. In his later years, Granger expressed gratitude for the care he received from Kirkley's Council, which supported him during a lengthy hospital stay. Granger leaves behind a legacy as an exceptional footballer and musician. His life exemplified passion, talent, and warmth. Tributes to Colin Granger. Number 7. David M. Bartley, a pioneer of education and skilled statesman with an enduring legacy. David M. Bartley, who made an indelible impact as an advocate for education and a skilled politician, passed away at the age of 88 on June 13, after being in hospice for several weeks. He served as the youngest Speaker of the House since the Civil War, a title he still holds. His political career, which began with his election as a state representative in 1962, was marked by a rapid rise to prominence. Bartley authored the Massachusetts Chapter 766 Special Education Law in 1972, which ensured disabled children receive a free, appropriate public education. This legislation marked a turning point in the education of disabled children and continues to shape lives positively. Besides his advocacy for education, Bartley co-authored the Bartley Fox Act, calling for a mandatory minimum sentence for illegal firearm possession. His knack for fostering alliances and navigating the political landscape was legendary. He knew how to work across the aisle and was known as a loyal supporter of causes and people he believed in. After leaving politics, Bartley served as the second president of Holyoke Community College, playing a pivotal role in rebuilding and expanding the campus. He remained actively involved in supporting the college throughout his life. David M. Bartley is survived by his wife, Bette Bartley, sons Miles and David K. Bartley, and daughter Susan Bartley. His contributions as an educator, a skilled politician, and a community builder have left an enduring legacy. Tributes to David M. Bartley. Number 8. Huang Yong Yu, a storied legacy of artistic brilliance and cultural insight. Huang Yong Yu, an icon in the world of Chinese art, has left an indelible mark with his passing on June 13 at the age of 98 due to an illness. Huang's body of work is a testament to his artistic ingenuity and deep understanding of culture and society. For over half a century, Huang's artistry in woodcut prints, color ink paintings, and literary works captured the hearts of many. His pieces overflow with passion for and insights into various groups and the zeitgeist of the times. Notably, his Chinese zodiac stamp designs became a cultural phenomenon in China. The monkey stamp issued on February 15, 1980, painted by Huang and designed by Xiao Bolin, marked the beginning of China's zodiac stamp series, earning him the affectionate nickname Grandpa Monkey Stamp. In 2023, Huang made headlines again with his Year of the Rabbit stamps, which captivated the public with their symbolism and clever wordplay. His first stamp portrayed a blue rabbit penning New Year blessings, while the second featured three rabbits in a lively chase, exuding vitality. Huang's artistry was unique, blending rich Chinese tradition with Western elements, serving as an inspiration for future generations. His autobiographical novels and essays also provided an intimate glimpse into his remarkable life and thoughts. Tributes to Huang Yong Yu. Number 9. 
Number 9. Bodan Urbankowski, a stalwart of Polish literature and culture. Bodan Urbankowski, a prominent Polish philosopher, poet, and playwright, passed away at the age of 80 on June 15, 2023. Urbankowski authored over 50 literary works, including dramas, essays, and collections of poetry. His significant contributions to literature also encompass philosophical works and theatrical plays. Moreover, his monographs on famous figures such as Adam Mickiewicz, Józef Pilsudski, and Pope John Paul II are highly acclaimed. Urbankowski was a strong advocate for freedom and was actively involved in the Solidarity Movement. Due to his participation in the independence movement, he faced removal from his position at Polish radio during martial law. Nevertheless, he remained an indomitable spirit, publishing in several periodicals and participating in underground publishing activities. Over the years, Urbankowski received numerous awards and recognitions. In 1972, he won the Josef Chekowitz Award for one of his poetry collections titled Glozy, and later in 1993, he received the Julius Slowaki Award. In 2001, he received the Medal of Solidarity for his services to Poland's independence and human rights, as well as the honorary badge of meritorious culture activist. In 2014, President Bronisław Komorowski honored him with the Cross of Freedom and Solidarity, and in 2016 President Andrzej Duda awarded him the Officer's Cross of the Order of Polonia Restituta. Bodan Urbankowski's legacy is a testament to his unwavering dedication to literature, culture, and freedom leaving behind an indelible mark on Polish society. Tributes to Bowdoin Urbankowski Number 10. Sir Michael Hopkins, a pillar of high-tech architecture, leaves behind an enduring legacy. Sir Michael Hopkins, an iconic British architect renowned for his innovative and influential designs, passed away peacefully at the age of 88 on June 19. He was a pioneering force in the high-tech architectural movement that swept through the UK and beyond from the 1980s onwards. Hopkins's lifelong journey with architecture was sparked early on by his family. Together with his wife, Patty Hopkins, whom he met at the Architectural Association in London, he co-founded Hopkins Architects in 1976. This dynamic duo championed a style that effortlessly blended modern materials with historical sensitivities. Sir Michael's body of work includes several architectural masterpieces such as Portcullis House at the Palace of Westminster, the Mound Stand at Lord's Cricket Ground, and the Jubilee Campus at Nottingham University. His approach was described as brilliant in analysis and fearlessly creative in designing by Michael Taylor, the current principal of Hopkins Architects. Among his numerous accolades, Sir Michael and Lady Hopkins received the Royal Gold Medal for Architecture in 1994. He was also elected a Royal Academician in 1992 and was knighted for his services to architecture in 1995. Survived by his wife, three children, and 11 grandchildren, Sir Michael's indelible mark on architecture will continue to be celebrated by generations to come. His passionate commitment to his craft and tireless dedication to refining designs have left an enduring legacy of beauty and innovation in the built environment. Tributes to Sir Michael Hopkins Number 11. Carolus Chivadukas a global football talent gone too soon. Karolas Chevadukas, former Lithuanian international player, passed away at the age of 32 on June 18. Karolas Chevadukas had a dynamic career, playing club football in multiple countries including Lithuania, Poland, Finland, and Malta. He is particularly remembered for his time in the League of Ireland, where he joined Dundalk in 2018. Despite an injury-laden tenure, Chvadukas made seven league appearances in Dundalk's triumphant double-winning season, but was unable to participate in the FAI Cup final due to injury. After leaving Dundalk, 
Chvaduka spent two successful years with Waterford FC. His impact on the field was notable, as he was praised by his colleagues for his dedication and skills. On the international stage, Chvadukas earned 20 caps for the Lithuanian national team between 2014 and 2019, showcasing his talent on a grand scale. His tragic passing is felt not only in Lithuania, but across the global football community. A player whose career was marked by perseverance and talent, Karolis Chvadukas was an inspiration for many aspiring footballers. Tributes to Karolis Chvadukas. Now we also honor the lives and legacies of notable people who have died in the past few years. Number 12, Carol Ray, a stalwart of stage and screen across continents. Carol Ray, British-born actress and producer, left an indelible mark on both the UK and Australian entertainment industries, passed away at the age of 99 on June 19, 2022. Starting her career as a dancer at 16 in London, Ray had established herself in film and theatre in the UK before moving to Australia with her husband Robert Eyre Smith in 1964. In Australia, Carol's multifaceted talents flourished. She created and starred in the television series The Mavis Bramston Show in 1964 and was celebrated for her roles in The Young Doctors, No. 96, and Sea Change. She gained fame in the 1970s, with her memorable appearances on Graham Kennedy's Blankety Blanks and The Mike Walsh Show. In number 96, she charmed audiences as Baroness Amanda von Papenberg. Carol was honored with an Order of Australia a week before her passing, a fitting tribute to her monumental contributions to entertainment. She is survived by her three children, including daughters Sally Eyre Smith, who followed her mother's footsteps as a producer on Sea Change, and Harriet, associated with the Sydney Theatre Company. Carol's legacy is that of a pioneering woman in television, a versatile performer, and a beloved figure whose career bridged continents and generations. Tributes to Carol Ray. Number 13. Brett Tuggle, a musical maestro, remembered for his versatility and warmth. Brett Tuggle, the former keyboardist for the legendary rock band Fleetwood Mac, passed away from cancer on June 19, 2022, at the age of 70. His remarkable talents extended across a range of instruments, including bass and guitar, and his musical acumen was celebrated by peers and fans alike. Tuggle was associated with Fleetwood Mac for two decades during their reunion era, touring with them from 1997 to 2017. Prior to joining Fleetwood Mac, Tuggle worked with Mick Fleetwood's side project The Zoo in 1992. His contributions to Fleetwood Mac were invaluable, with the band's singer and guitarist Lindsey Buckingham acknowledging him as a master and integral to their performances. In addition to his time with Fleetwood Mac, Brett Tuggle had an illustrious career that saw him work with several music icons. He was a founding member of the David Lee Roth Band in the 1980s and co-wrote Roth's 1988 hit, Just Like Paradise. He also shared stages and studios with Rick Springfield, Jimmy Page, David Coverdale, John Kay, and Steppenwolf, Styx's Tommy Shaw, and Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Tuggle is remembered not just for his musical prowess, but also for his endearing personality. Bassist Billy Sheehan labeled him as the secret weapon and highlighted that he was loved by everyone that ever met him. His family, including his son Matt, attested to the love and music he brought into their lives. Brett Tuggle leaves behind a rich musical legacy defined by versatility, passion, and the love he shared through his art. Tributes to Brett Tuggle. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.